So once you have your MIDI keyboard attached, by far the most effective way and the most efficient way to put in notes is using flexi time. It's a technique that takes a little bit of practice, but once you've got this, the skills mastered, it does save an enormous amount of time. As you've seen from previous videos, there is a, a wee bit of setup that has to be done, and I've already completed all those steps here. Let me just show you. I'm on the Note Input tab, and the Input Devices, you can see my trusty Keystation Mini is attached and communicating, so that's all good. I can go to the FlexiTime options here, and you can see I've set up my flexibility of tempo, I've set up to record into Voice 1, and on the Notation tab, I've got the minimum duration set to the Quaver. And the last bit of setup is in the Play tab, when I go to the Setup, and open up the dialog box, the audio and audio engine options. I've got my generic low latency as your driver set with the latency figure here of 20.27 milliseconds, which is perfectly adequate. Um, remember, you want to on your um, system, you want to get this figure here as low as you possibly can. So we're all ready to go, basically. And all you have to do, there are three ways that you can start no input. Um, you can go to the play tab and you'll find the red record button here. You can go to the Note Input tab, and you can find this button here. Notice it's the same shortcut. Or well, the shortcut is in fact Control plus Shift plus F. I'm going to use this button here, and when I hit record, you'll hear a bar for nothing. you hear four clicks, and then I'm going to start recording. I'm going to tell it what bar I'm going to start recording into. This one here. Hit record, and here we go. and escape to stop. So you can see that it does make life an awful, awful lot quicker if you have the keyboard skills and you've got the equipment to use flexi-time input.